this whole waking up process is kind of interesting. I think the thing that is the most interesting for me, but also kind of the most challenging is the drifting between levels of awareness. I feel like it's intentional in order not to like shock our systems, you know, and, and I don't, you know, I, I can't speak for others. Um, uh, you know, like I know other people that are like, you know, awake, awake to some level, or, you know, you can tell um, that they're somewhere along their journey, that they're, they're not, you know, fully plugged into the matrix anymore, that sort of thing. But I don't really know or haven't had the chance to talk to anybody about like um, how similar their experiences might be to mine in terms of, um, you know, like sometimes I know exactly who and what I am, um, both on this plane and on like the cosmic scale. And like I have different levels of awareness of it. Like sometimes um, when I'm like tapped in just right or when the channeling isn't really channeling anymore. I mean, it kind of is, but like it, so, sometimes it gets to a point where it's like it's, it's, it's something else. Um, like my thoughts, my, my thoughts and the things I know and like feel sure of and stuff like that. My identity, intuitive knowing, like all that kind of stuff. Like I'll just know things and feel things and be aware of things. And I will speak as though like, um, like I'm G or Gaia or whoever, and then it could be five or 10 minutes later, I'm back to talking in more of like a third person um, kind of way, or about, or I'll talk about, instead of feeling that I'm that thing, all of a sudden I'm back to, I know I'm that thing, I'm not feeling it, I'm feeling a little disconnected from it, like a little disconnected. And then sometimes I, it's out of my mind completely. And, you know, it's like I'm immersed back in to uh, the matrix, which um, the contrast is kind of nice. However, I do, you know, when I first started experiencing this pretty intensely, um, I was a little afraid. I didn't want to forget who I am like right now. Um, you know, but the thing is, is that we're all constantly changing every moment. So it's like, um, like why try and fight that? But also like I was afraid of, um, I don't know, of waking up and not being able to be 19, uh, not being able to relate or interact with, you know, like friends and family and stuff like that, or just like the world in general. Cause like, honestly, I feel kind of displaced from it in some ways or not really displaced. I mean, in some ways I feel more connected to it than, um, the zombies walking around. I mean that in the nicest way possible, uh, walking around unconscious that they're just following their programming or that they're stuck or, you know, like prisoners in a system, that sort of thing, you know? And, uh, Anyways, I was talking with one of the few friends I have that does experience kind of the same thing. And I was like, do you think we'll ever be fully aware and remember things, you know, like all the time? Or do you think we'll always fluctuate back and forth? And uh, he thinks that eventually we'll be fully awake. And um, I do I do think that too, you know, I, at this point, I think I'm ready, you know, like I'm definitely, I can feel things speeding up for me, um, especially in the past few weeks, you know, I kind of had like a, kind of had like a little rest period and I felt things speeding up. I have had a lot more 
experiences and yesterday we did some work to try and remove some of the blocks I still have in my system and they say that they got them all so I don't know so um, hopefully I will see and feel some differences from that soon so anyways um, best of luck on your awakening journey and uh, here's hoping uh, the pace picks up a little bit for everybody.